Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna do a manual update of a Synology 1621 Plus to the most recent release of DSM 7.1. So if this is something you think you're interested in seeing, then stick around. Okay, so I'm signed into the 1621 Plus. Let's go over to the control panel and let's click on update and restore. Here you can see the current version is up to date and that's version DSM 7.0.1. 42218 update number three. Now, if your Synology device does not give you the option to update to 7.1, it's being rolled out over the next several weeks. You should get a notification soon. However, if you'd like to proceed now, we can always do a manual DSM update and that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. But before we can do that, we need to download DSM 7.1 from Synology's website. So let's go over to Synology.com and we're going to click on learn more. And now we're going to click on download now. And then once again, from the drop down menu, we're going to select our product type is a NAS. And now we're going to select our product model. And we're going to pick the 1621 plus. And here you can see DSM is the operating system of the 1621 plus. We have the options to download it or look at the release notes or look at all the other downloads. I would suggest if you want to look at the release notes, do so so that you can make sure you want to go ahead with this process. Again, make sure you have a backup before proceeding with any kind of major upgrade. Let's go ahead and click on download. And you can see it's downloading here in the lower left hand corner. Now that the download has completed, let's go back to the Synology 1621 Plus. We're still in the update and restore section. Let's click on manual DSM update. And now we need to select the file that we just downloaded. So let's click on browse. And it's in my downloads folder. And here it is right here, DSM 1621. 42661.pat. Let's open that and let's go ahead and click OK. But before we do so, look at the note. It says DSM cannot be rolled back to an older version. The applied DSM must be newer than the current one. Let's go ahead and click OK. Here it says before you continue, make sure you read through the important changes that will take place. Must read advanced media extensions will automatically update to version 200. This version requires you to sign into your Synology account to install HV, HEVC and AAC codec to playback files in these formats. Go to DSM control panel to, and sign into your Synology account. Make sure your Synology is connected to the internet. And then finally under Synology packages, it says the following packages will be automatically updated or will require a manual update to be compatible after the DSM update. Please check package status in the package center after the update and it's listing the virtual machine manager, advanced media extensions, hyper backup, hyper backup vault, replication service and Docker. And this list may vary depending on the services that you have installed on your NAS. Now I'm going to go ahead and click, I understand and agree to update the system. The installation may take between 20 and 40 minutes. Okay, it took about four minutes and 44 seconds to do the update and get back to the sign in page. So let's go ahead and get signed in and see what we have. Okay, we're getting a notification under the package center. Let's click on the installed packages and it says here. Virtual machine manager requires a repair. So let's go ahead and click on repair. When upgrading virtual machines under one of the following conditions will need to be shut down. So we'll just go ahead and say confirm the upgrade and click on next. 
and then we'll click on done. Okay, it looks like the repair was completed successfully. Everything else looks pretty good. Let's go under the main menu. Let's take a look. Let's go to virtual machine manager. And now you can see it's starting to correct the errors and everything else seems to be healthy host, virtual machines running, storage is healthy, overall status is healthy. And it looks like all of my virtual machines are intact. And then one final note, it said the recent DSM update did repair the following incompatibility of the following packages. Advanced Media Extensions, Docker, Hyper Backup, Hyper Backup Vault, and the Replication Service. So other than the manual repair of Virtual Machine Manager, everything looks to be functioning as expected. And let's go check. Control Panel, Update and Restore. And now you can see we're running DSM 7.1-42661. And it says your DSM version is up to date. Okay, so there you go, manually updating your Synology NAS to the latest version of DSM 7.1. Before proceeding, as always, make sure you have a backup of all your data. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I wanna thank you, as I do in every video, for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I do have links to my Patreon and PayPal down in the video description. And you can also buy me a coffee as well. Links down below. Once again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.